What's yeah. up, you guys? Welcome to The Single Guy. I'm Lloyd, and I have a very special guest today. I have the myth, the man, the legend. What's up? Mr. Evil Stifler here. In the house. Good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cover the question today about how can I pull girls, um, or how can I isolate girls, how can I do well in loud club environments? So it sounds like from this question, this guy is doing pretty well in like environments where, you know, it is very quiet, where he can talk. Maybe it's like kind of a little bit more of a loungy bar or something like that, or maybe yeah. a dive bar. With these environments, you kind of your game has to change with basically the environment that you're in. So in bars, people are sitting down having a drink, talking. Um, in clubs, people are usually standing up and they're dancing and there's really loud music. So if you're in a loud club environment, like kind of use your body a little bit. You can use your physicality, like kind of you know go up and dance. See who's like kind of dancing around. Maybe if you're making eye contact with a few girls, then go in and dance with them. Um, you can pull them in, maybe do a little spin move, bring them in, dance with them for a little bit, and then maybe try and take them to the bar. Verbal, it's too loud. You, you, you know, you don't want to talk. If you do talk, like Lloyd said, you're gonna have to pull it away. I like to do a little physical. Um, you know, all I like kind of walk towards the, the crowd and maybe like you know bump them with my ass and be like, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> did, my, did, my, did my fat ass get in the way again, you know, I'm sorry, did my ass get in the way, I'm, I don't know what to say, let me apologize, I'll buy you a drink, and, you know, then that's what you want when, when they're with a group, is you want their, to have the approval of their friends, and you're still controlling the situation in your own heart, you're not, you're not waiting for them to give you acceptance, you're, you're coming up, you're accepting yourself, and therefore they're happy with you. And then you can take her to, you know, or you two can walk over together and, you know, go get a drink or have a conversation if that's what you're into. You know, at least, you know, pull her aside or at least you can stay there and talk to them within their friend group because it's already a group. And if they're on the dance floor, like I said, this works too. You can give them a little booty bump um, and, and, you know, and then start dancing with them. You know, like boys, there's all that. That's one technique, and then uh, Evil Stifler also, I use this, everybody uses this, it's called the Hand of God. Um, My Hand of God. Yeah. <laughs> I created that shit. Evil Stifler created it. So how do they do the Hand of God? So the Hand of God is when you see a group of people, aka two girls, three girls, one girl, whatever, anytime, you fully extend your arm out like this, and you say, hey, and you don't even have to say anything. You just bring your hand out. Like, I don't know if I can get this in the camera, but I go, let's shake it. Fucking ah, 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 <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Take me now. That's the hand of God. So basically, it's like you just walk up and you put your hand out like this. Now the girl's gonna look at it, and her friends are gonna be like, if you're awkward with it, if you're like, you know, mm 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 mm. Hundred percent, gotta go in. How you doing? How you doing? What's up? Hey, what's up? How's it going? It's like if I see fucking Lloyd talking to a girl, and she's got a girlfriend walking up to him, I'll walk up. And like I can see, like here's him, here's a girl, here's her friend. She's looking, her friend's standing around because no one's talking to her. Now Lloyd's talking to her friend. I'll fucking reach across Lloyd and the girl he's talking to and introduce myself to his girlfriend. It, it's such a congruent, respectful way to introduce yourself that is assurance. It's assurance. It's assurance. It, it, it's a, it's something that you can. They believe is real. It's it's a solid communication gesture. Yeah, definitely. Um, and this works super well on loud club environments because rather than you just going up and saying, hi, like, I'm Lloyd, you're actually just going forward and you're leading, you're demonstrating physically with your body, uh, which is the thing that's going to work a lot better in these types of environments for sure. And I've seen Lloyd do that too. Hi. <laughs> which is funny. I, I, it, it works too. It's kind of funny. You can like walk to the side. Hello. <laughs> hello. You know, hi, hi. Come to me. Yeah, and the other thing too is like you might be thinking that oh this environment's too loud we can't talk. Um, you can talk really loud if your voice and your tonality and the way you speak is good and it's on par. It doesn't matter what environment you can in you're in. People are gonna be able to hear what you say if you talk really loudly. And I would also recommend talking slowly, maybe at a third of the pace that you're used to talking at. Talk at that pace. People are really going to be able to hear you. Yeah. Um, and at the very least, they're going to be able to see your mouth move and see the words that you're making with your mouth. So, so what you're saying is that it's not rocket science to speak up. You don't need a lesson all the time on how to speak louder <laughs> and project your. Wow. Hi. My name's James. What's your name? You have pretty eyes. Is your father a thief? 
Did he steal them from the sky? Yeah, like see, that. You see what Evil Stifler's doing too? He's also using pantomimes as well. You can use gestures. Like I pulled girls when I was in Southeast Asia that didn't speak any English. Very James condescending. Does it, James does it. <laughs> James does it on the regular, where you don't you don't use your words. You just use your body. You can use the use, use your body language. You yeah. can use pantomimes. You can use whatever. It's fun. Like the language of love is universal. You don't need words or anything. There's tons of possibilities for you. Yeah, and also keep in mind, uh, it depends what club you're at. There's are there are quiet environments at the club. Like you know, I, we also, we talked about dance floor game here. Um, I personally think that dance floor game is something that I use sparingly. I much prefer to talk to girls at the bar or even around the lounge area. Even by the bathroom is a good option too. People are just kind of chilling there. The girls laughing. Yeah, the girls laughing. <laughs> yeah. Don't be hanging out next to the guys' bathroom expecting to fucking meet some hot chicks. Yeah, and then the perfect excuse there is if uh, maybe you're at the bar, you're around, around that area, you just say, hey, let's go dance, or let's go, you know, get a drink at the bar or something like that. You're gonna that. fuck around and see Lloyd with his hair down. <laughs> yeah, no, like, what's up, girl? Oh, god damn it, what's up? Damn. <laughs> Bro, what you doing in the women's bathroom line? Oh, it's the men's bathroom line? <laughs> nah, no, just kidding. Um, yeah, so I basically, if it's too loud to talk, you're gonna either wanna, you know, and you really wanna get her attention, you're gonna have to do it in a way to where it's not disrupting her having fun, and she's like, "No thanks, no thanks, bye," nah. you know, because that's what they're gonna. That's the first reaction anyone's gonna do. If I'm in the fucking dance floor and I'm having fun, and some chick's like, and I'm like, I can't fucking hear you, yeah, you know? Exactly. She better be like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll get that. I'll get that. I'll, I'll even do that too. I'll shake my boobies, you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll I will get creative as fuck. So I can, and that's what you gotta do. But the, the secret is to be able to bond the two without being insulting. Because you are trying to, you know, get this girl's attention in a positive way. You're not trying to get yourself kicked out of the club for sexual harassment. You're not trying to be a sexual harasser. You're trying to be fun, flirtatious, in a healthy, positive way to where she can engage with you. Exactly, yeah. You know, be a fun, positive person, see who else is being fun and positive with you in the club. And then you do yeah. that by kind of mixing it up, using, being high energy, being fluid, going around, um, seeing who's into that. Yeah, I hope that helps out with the advice. And everybody else watching this video, subscribe to Lloyd's channel, The Single Guy. It's awesome. Um, I'm Evil Stifler. We're going to start doing some more videos together. Yeah, for do you sure. have any other questions on this subject? Um, no, I think that's good. Thanks for having me out. Good talking with you, buddy. Take it easy. See you guys.